Hello again, everybody. This is Gotta Transform the Wall. I am today bringing you guys the Forces of Nature GX Premium Collection box. So, this is a new, like, special legendary Pokemon product release featuring the three uh, Genie Pokemon. I guess uh, I think they're I think they're all the Genie Pokemon. Uh, the trio from you know basically featuring Landorus, Tornadus, and Thunderous. And I, I guess mainly, well, you, you get cards of Tornadus and Thunderous, but Landorus is the Suicune of this group and gets kind of the jip. Uh, he just gets the pin and the coin that features him. Uh, no GX, which is really odd. They just kind of like willfully ignore a member of a trio like this. Uh but yeah, there's there's uh, six packs as well and a jumbo card featuring the three uh, legendary Pokemon uh, that is obviously not usable. Uh, <laughs> 500 HP. I, I don't even want to know what the attack does, but I assume it's some stupid amount, like 1,500. Uh, it's obviously not tournament legal or playable, really, at all. <laughs> uh, but one thing I am certainly happy about, of the six packs that are in this thing, there's only one X and Y pack. Now, I would love it. I would have preferred it if there wasn't X and Y. Not that I hate the X and Y series, but at this point, there's been too much of it. Like, we need more Sun and Moon stuff now, especially since this stuff is going out of rotation for tournaments. Uh, like, just, just as a... like from a competitive player perspective, even though I am certainly not one, I don't play the game outside of pre-releases. Uh, but also from a collecting perspective, these sets have been out for ye for years now. I'm not missing all that much from them. Like maybe two reverses and five like full arts or ultra rares. That's really it. So there's not likely going to be something I'm going to get from that that I need. Uh, but yeah, I'm still happy there are five uh, Sun and Moon booster packs in this. Uh, before we get into this, though, in the background, you have Sharkcon, Bulbasaur, and this is Longarm, who is a Transformers animated figure. And just between you and me, Longarm here. He's really Shockwave. <laughs> I, this is really a very fun like gimmick figure like just very awesome like really well done uh but yeah that is long arm slash shockwave uh from the transformers animated uh toy line uh, let's get into this box hopefully we get something good in the sun and moon packs preferably something new but if we get something good i'll 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 take it Ah, okay. You get this little like play mat or whatever. This is like it's like cardboard, but could it be used as a play mat? I'm not honestly sure. <laughs> Coin stuck on the top. There we go. All right, so we got the two promos, and again, you got like this like different kind of a holding placard kind of a thing uh so that the promos don't get bent so i really appreciate that pokemon's kind of doing something to help with that uh so you got all of these things put there got evolution sun and moon uh, guardians rising and crimson invasion and two forbidden light so there are uh, there are our packs, which we'll get to in just a moment. This code card, which I'm keeping for myself to get those promos on the online game. And here we are with the Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus jumbo card. It's just a Black Star promo. There's no number because it's not an actual promo in any sort of line of promos. Uh, and as you can see, B Legendary does a thousand damage. Not even this card can survive their attack. <laughs> and that's already insane HP. So that's the Jimbo card. We'll stick that right in the back. 
we have the pin featuring Landorus. Let's see if we can just focus on that real quick. There we go. So very nice looking Landorus pin. Very cool. There is the Landorus coin. <laughs> it would help if I was looking at it through the camera to make sure it's in the in the middle. <laughs> uh, but that's also a very nice looking coin. And then we have two promos featuring Thunderous GX. And that is SM133. Very awesome looking artwork. And there's also Tornadus GX, uh, which is SM134. Again, also really nice artwork. Very, very nice. And now we have our packs. We'll go oldest to newest, and we'll start with the Evolutions pack. Alrighty. So, first pack. There we go. Alright, so we have a Ponyta, Drowsy, Electabuzz, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Magmar, Venusaur Spear Link, and Metapod. Reverse is a Magnemite. That is a common, definitely one I have already. The rare card. Dugtrio. It's just a non hollow there. That is okay though. Next is Sun and Moon base set with Blue Nala on the pack. There we go. I'll give you guys the Sun and Moon code right there. Just pause and take that if you want it. Hopefully get something good from that pack in the online card game. And here we have a Lillipup, Cosmog, Rowlet, Young Goose, Torkoal, Professor Kukui, Araquanid, and Nest Ball. Reverse. Dart Tricks. That is an uncommon. Number 10. See where is Sun and Moon? There we go. And nope, not I am only missing five reverses for the set. Dartrix is not one of them, unfortunately. Uh the rare lantern. So another non-holo there. Still love the Sun and Moon base set. Like still one of my favorites. Uh but now we have Guardians Rising, which I mean what we'll see. <laughs> what we'll see how this does. I do not have hopes. <laughs> uh, we have a Parrot, Carvana, Cottony, Bellsprout, Pancham, Oh, and Graveler, Altar of the Sun, and Altar of the Moon. So we got both of them there. Uh, reverse. Oh, and Sandshrew. That is a common. 19. Pretty sure I've gotten this one before, but I'll double check. Oh, I, that's right. I still need to fix my reverse list. Still a bunch of garbage. <laughs> like, just, I don't even know what all that is. Uh, but Sandshrew's probably a duplicate. The rare card is a Swallow. And that is a non hollow. So, 0 for 3 so far. Hopefully, Crimson Invasion or Forbidden Light can come through with something nice. That pack is completely ripped off <laughs> of itself. Uh, we'll give you guys a code card for Crimson Invasion. Pause and take that if you want it. Hopefully get something good. Alright, so we have here a Dino with a little Fear Fro on the top. Or Fear Fro. <laughs> I combined Fearo and Fur Fro. Ah, uh, that is a Fearo, not a Fear Fro. <laughs> a Lolan Geodude, Remoraid, Aeron, Staryu, Haunter. Psychic Memory and Mill Tank. Reverse. Chime Go. That is a common once again. 43. Crimson Invasion. And I'm pretty sure I have this one as well. It's like, I'm not even really sure why I'm checking. I've definitely pulled that a few times. Uh, the rare is Star Raptor. So another non holo. Which means it comes down to Forbidden Light to give us something good. Got McDonadel on this pack. All 
All right, so we have a Krogunk, Froki, Cubone, Snover, Gumi, Mysterious Treasure, Azelf, and Spoopa. Reverse is an Inke. That is a common 50. I think I got both this and the Malamar. Oop, that's Ultra Prism. Not Forbidden Light. There we go. Yep, I got this and Malar, so in case a duplicate once again. So far, it's not looking good. Ah, uh, the rare is just a Vivalon, so another non holo. So 0 for 5 on anything good, like not even a rare reverse, I think, so far. Comes down to our final pack. Please don't make this a dud opening. It's pretty, please. Just give us something good. Wow, <laughs> okay. Unless we have a prism, this is pretty bad. All right, well, we have a Scatterbug, Birdmite, Pancham, Helioptile, Froakie, Heliolisk, Spoopa, and Zygarde. I think I'll just start with the rare because I, because from the code card, I know it's just a non holo. The rare is a meow stick, so yeah, non hollow. Can we at least get a prism? Like, just something, please? Trigalgy, that's a rare reverse at least, but not anything amazing. I mean, unless it's a new card. No, it's not. I, I have this one too. So, yikes, is all I can say about this opening, uh, for me anyway. Uh, out of six packs, no hollows, or def I mean, definitely no ultra rares. Uh, I mean, we just ended up with the one rare reverse. Yeah, just the one. Uh, Dragology, rare reverse. Uh, best pulls out of the box in its entirety were the two promos. Now those aren't even really pulls at all, because they just come with the box. Uh, so needless to say, I'm pretty bummed and disappointed with that. <laughs> uh, I was definitely not expecting a complete shutout on anything. I was expecting at least hollows. So, I mean, to be fair, no I mean, nothing's guaranteed, and this is the kind of the chance you take with buying stuff. Like, you're, you're not guaranteed anything, but just... Yikes, out of six packs to not get anything. <laughs> uh, but I guess that'll do it for this opening, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, stay tuned for more. Hopefully we have better luck and more stuff later. Have a great day.